problems, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Rav, warning of the week, and this actually is, it's like a scary movie, this. It's terrifying. It really is. So my warning of the week is about blowtorch burglaries, and we're actually seeing a rise of this. It really is quite a dramatic way that some criminals are using to break into to homes. We can see that right now, captured uh, on camera here. They are using exactly that. It's a blowtorch to attack the door. And what they're trying to get at is the metal part of the lock inside the door. We can see a closer image here of, of what I'm talking about. And they're trying to burn away the casing on the outside there oh in order to access the metal barrel of the lock. And that is what they are attacking to break it, known as snapping, to then let themselves into the home. It really is quite dramatic footage, isn't it? And something we need to be aware of. That is horrific. I mean, they're going to pretty extreme lengths there, Rav, mm. but... Is there anything we can do to prevent it? There's actually quite a lot we can do. So first of all, it's the type of lock that they're, they're realising many locks are quite weak. And if you replace the lock with something that I've got here in my hand, this is uh, one that we've got here on Morning Life for under £30. Um, so it's quite a cheap replacement. And if you just have a look there, on the, the, the bit you want to look at is the three stars. Can we see that there? So it's the three star rating. And that there, just by my thumb, is the bit you need to look for on a replacement lock. Because that means that even if they were to use that blowtorch technique and get at the metal part of the lock, they're not going to be able to access the property that they would with the older, uh, non-efficient locks that, that many homes do have. So it's a really good thing to look for if you do want to check your locks or replace your locks. It looks for that three-star rating. Can you do that yourself? Because I know a lot of the times we talk about mm -hmm. this, people will, will say maybe it can in invalidate insurance or, um, you know, you've got to know your DIY to be able to do it. We so, make that point, shouldn't we? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good point, Geth. You, you ca some people can do, do it themselves if you're relatively handy with DIY. Um, if you're not, then you can get a trades professional round for... Around, I've, got, I've seen some quotes online for around about £100, including the lock upwards, depending on where you live. So it's a, it's a, it's a cost-effective thing to do. In terms of insurance, though, you raise a really good point because some insurers only insure you with this type of lock. Some will give you a discount with this type of lock. So, in, in fact, it's really worth checking your insurance to see if you're covered or if you get a discount by replacing them. So uh, Wayne Perry did a brilliant masterclass on how to change your lock, which is still on uh, iPlayer on, on Morning Live, but it's great to get that advice because sometimes if you're not sure, it's worth... It, exactly it. that, because you want to... Yeah. Look, this is a lock, it's serious. You want it's it to investing. be secure. Yeah. So if you're not sure and confident, get a professional round yeah. to do it for you. It's a okay, quick so job. We've changed our lock. Mm -hmm. We've got the right one. Is there anything else that we can do to deter them or prevent further criminal? Yeah, so d prevention is better than the cure in many, many ways. So uh, you'd probably say that from That's a doctor's point of view, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm sure um, Dr. Pete yeah, said that. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I saw you line. nod in there. <laughs> so things like CCTV are very, very good deterrents because criminals hate them. If they come along and they see the camera, they don't want to be caught on camera funny enough. So they're really, really good. Additional locks are also really handy and also make your door look secure. If it's old and tired um, and a bit of a sorry state, give it a lick of paint because sometimes that in itself can be enough to, to make it look that much more safe and secure for a criminal who are very often opportunists to think, do you know what, I'm just going to try the next easy target because this is not it. So there are some things that we can do to keep our homes that bit more secure. Imagine coming out there and seeing that. It's just horrific, isn't it? It really is. If yeah. it has happened, what would you, what, what do you do? Well, you've just you've got to report these things because the more that these crimes are reported straight away, the more that police know about them, the more action can be taken and uh, things can be put in place. If they don't know about it, they can't do much about it. So you must report. Even if they haven't got in, even if they've just attempted it, please report, report, report. Yeah. You've got another major...